and it's Uzumaki by and it's Uzumaki and it's Uzumaki <laughs> Uzumaki Uzumaki and it's Uzumaki by Junji Ito. I finally decided to put my little skull lamp on today which I think is nice. I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit rubbish. I'm filming this in the evening and I tried to put my ring light on but it was reflecting on my glasses quite a lot. It was just really distracting and if I take my glasses off without having contact lenses in I'm just standing there squinting. It's just a bit of a nightmare. So I've put the exposure up on the camera so hopefully it should be fine and it shouldn't be too dark and hopefully you can hear me fine. So I thought I'd film quite a fun video this evening. If you're anything like me you probably follow quite a lot of other booktubers and I follow Beth at Books Nest I mean I'm pretty sure you already know who she is and she posted a really fun video and she chatted through all the books that she was really excited and really hyped to read when they first came out and said to herself that she was going to read them but still hasn't got around to reading them and I was watching the video and I was like oh my god <laughs> this is me too <laughs> like there's so many books that I get really really hyped about and I'm like I'm gonna read those straight away I'm definitely gonna read those as soon as it comes out on release date and I get really 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 excited and then I don't read them and then they still sitting on my shelves and I was like you know what I think I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna chat you through the books that I was also very excited to read and I still haven't read I mean this is probably a little bit not embarrassing but I'm definitely calling myself out but it's fine because I feel like we all have this feeling too we all get excited about certain books and don't end up reading them straight away <laughs> please don't judge me <laughs> with these books a lot of these books to be fair are quite old ones and ones that I didn't actually pick up like as they came out but they were ones that I was excited to read as soon as I got them if that makes sense but I've got a mixture of books as always there's some Stephen King in there, there's some contemporary YA, there's some YA fantasy, there's some supernatural, there's some manga, there's some sci-fi, you know me, I like to read as widely as possible. So I think I'll jump straight into it and talk about the Stephen King book. Let's get the elephant out of the room. Now this is probably a bit of a controversial one because I know every Stephen King fan, majority anyway, love this book and I still haven't read it. <laughs> to be fair, I did try. I did try as this was going to be my first Stephen King book and let me just get into it. Let me just get into it. So it is It. I was super excited to read this when I first got it. I've actually got two copies and I picked this up just after the first film came out because obviously the newer uh the newer adaptations is filmed in two parts and I was really intrigued to see what the book would be like first film the way it ended I was like I need to know what happens next and yeah I read a couple of chapters and didn't get much further and I think the problem was it was very different to the film in how it was set up because obviously with this it jumps from like the present to the past quite a lot and the film obviously doesn't really do that um it's split into like when they were children and then when they were adults so it got me a little bit confused and i wasn't sure about the writing style like i'd never delved into stephen king before and uh, yeah it was just a bit daunting I don't think this was the right place for me to start with Stephen King like the first book I ended up reading was Pet Cemetery, and that's a lot shorter and I was a lot more comfortable reading that and I think now I could probably delve into this and probably enjoy it a lot more. The second book is part of a series and I have briefly mentioned it before so I won't like delve into it too much but it is The Toll by Neil Shusterman. I absolutely loved Scythe and Thunderhead. It was one of 
of my favourite YA series I'd ever read. It blew me away. The writing was incredible. I thought it was such a unique concept. I've never read anything like it before. And I read Scythe and Thunderhead back to back just before The Toll was released because I thought, well, if I'm going to enjoy the books, then I'm going to be really hyped and excited for when The Toll comes out. And I was. I ended up picking this up in Waterstones. I think it was when I went on holiday. My two lovely friends, Sarah and Linda, and me and Linda went into the Waterstones and this was there a couple of days before it was released. When it came to it then, I think for this, it wasn't that I didn't want to read it, like I was so hyped, like I'd not been excited for a book in so long. I was so scared of the book series ending that I didn't actually finish it and I still feel the same now but I do really want to get around to this at some point this year because I need to finish the series and I need to see how it ends but I'm also going to be really sad because I don't want it to end. <laughs> this book I picked up in Yalk which is the Young Adults Literature Convention that happens in London every year but obviously it hasn't been for the past two years because of Covid and it is Roseblood and this is really interesting because it's a retelling, it's YA of Phantom of the Opera and I absolutely love Phantom of the Opera. It's one of my all-time favourite musicals. I love it so much. I think I've seen it about four times. We were gonna see it again last year. Obviously it got cancelled with Covid. If you've never seen it before, like it is based on a book and it's about a, it's like a man who lives underneath the opera house and then there's Christine who is like part of like the cast uh she's a ballet dancer she has an angel of music and who sings to her and it turns out that it's the phantom of the opera and then he like abducts her and this a lot happens it's really good and this is a retelling of that and it's an lgbt retelling if i'm correct i've just realized i've got another book by this author first ever book that we had in the book talked box is by the same author i'm pretty sure that's made me even more intrigued. Um, but yeah, I I think I'm nervous to read this because I love Phantom of the Opera so much and I'm scared that it's not going to live up to my expectations. You know when you hype up a book so much in your head and then it doesn't end up being as good as you thought it was going to be? Like, I really hope that that's not the case with this book. So that's why I haven't read it yet. But I'm so excited. Like, this is everything you could want in a book, you know? But why haven't I read it? book problems see the thing is book buying and book reading are two different hobbies and you can definitely argue that they're not but that's how I've justified it in my head so yeah if you feel bad about all the unread books you've got just remember that so the next book that's on my still not read list is Stephanie Mayer's Midnight Sun this is Twilight but written from the perspective of Edward and last year obviously there was a massive massive hype about this book everyone was super excited me included it definitely brought back my teenage obsession with Twilight but I started reading it and ended up putting it down and I don't know why like it to be honest, I think I re need to reread Twilight properly and then read this. And I think then I'll jump on the hype train again. But yeah, I was so, so excited, like super, super hyped for this book. And I, I just didn't read it. The dust jacket is off because I started reading it and now I can't find the dust jacket. It's another chunky book. You're probably going to notice a theme of slightly chunkier books and me not reading them. Then this one, I know I've not really heard like loads of people talking about it and it is When the Curtain Falls by Carrie Hope Fletcher and I've read all of Carrie's other books apart from um, Into the Spotlight I think it's called which is the newest book but that's like middle grade rather than YA. This is another book that's sort of inspired by Phantom of the Opera. It's like sort of Phantom of the Opera. It's like Great British Bake Off I think that's what we're saying on the back I don't really know but I know that they sort of like split with like a love interest in the present and then like love interest in the past and it's sort of based on like theatre and theatre ghosts and sort of what happens like behind the curtains once like a 
production has stopped that sort of thing this is signed as well let me just show you my lovely friend Karis from library at Karis got, got it signed for me at Yelp I did obviously give this book to Karis and we didn't see each other for ages <laughs> so it was in her house for a while technically it's not my fault even though I could have got the book but you know I say that like I've read it since I've had it back because I haven't I still haven't read this book and it's been out for like two years now I think but I know I'll enjoy it when I do get around to it and then the next book I was so so hyped for this book this was another one that I was like as soon as I get this book I'm gonna read it straight away and I did try again I read like two chapters and then I wasn't feeling it at the time and then I was like Ugh. and then I haven't picked it up since but I know that I am gonna enjoy it and it is The Beautiful and this is a book about vampires and it's based in New Orleans and it sounds absolutely fantastic. I heard so many good things about this book. Like before it was released, there was so much hype with like the arcs and stuff. And then even after it was released, everybody was still saying how good it was. I don't know why I still haven't picked it up because I love vampires. New Orleans, I think is so cool for a certain. I know I'm gonna really, really love it. I need someone to like grab me by the shoulders and shake me and be like read all the books you have on your shelf before you buy new ones. <laughs> the next one is one that I haven't actually had for too long but it was one that I thought that I was going to read straight away and this month and I still haven't read it but I really hope to get around to it next month. If I don't, shout to me. If you watch my May wrap up and it's not in there. I want you to leave a comment and like tell me off <laughs> and it is Uzumaki by Junji Ito and this is a horror manga I've heard so many good things about this my friend read by Beth she loves this book I know that I'm absolutely gonna love this I think I hope I've never read manga before I love graphic novels and I love horror so I feel like I'm going to enjoy manga. This is one that I feel like I, I say I'm going to read the other one straight away, but I probably won't straight away. But this one I definitely want to read like in the next month. The next one is another one that I haven't really heard loads of people talking about. It is Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero. And this is a book based on Mystery Inc. Scooby-Doo. It's like a retelling sort of book on that and this is a translated book when I was a child like I loved Scooby-Doo like I can't even begin to describe to you how much I love Scooby-Doo I would watch those episodes over and over again and when I used to go down my dad's on a Saturday he would now we're going back if you're Gen Z you probably wouldn't remember this but before like DVDs and things and like Sky Q and like Sky recordings and stuff Obviously, if you wanted to record anything that was on TV, you'd have to use a tape player. You know, like a video. My dad used to have plain videos and he'd record the episodes of Scooby-Doo for me. And I used to love watching them. If you've ever seen, I think it was called like Way Cat Island. I used to absolutely love that one. Like I was obsessed with it. I used to watch it all the time. So yeah, I'm super excited to get around to this eventually. But yeah, still haven't read it yet. <laughs> The next one is The Eve Illusion by Tom and G. Fletcher and I read Eve of Man pretty much as soon as it came out and absolutely loved it and I was like super excited to, oh, isn't it really annoying when there's like a sticker on the book but it's not actually a sticker, you can't take it off. Anyway I digress and yeah I was really excited to read this when it came out, I had it on pre-order and it came the day it came out and I still haven't read it. It's definitely an underhyped series, I don't hear enough people talking about it and it is really good. I think it's like The Handmaid's Tale but I haven't actually read The Handmaid's Tale. The next ones I'm gonna group as like <laughs> all in one. So they are the Alice Oseman books and I've got Radio Silence, Solitaire, This Winter and Loveless and these are all books that I was so excited to get around to straight away but I still haven't read them yet and I think these three I had off my friend Linda. We've definitely got a little bit of a uh, tradition going on now so I bought her a few and she's bought me a few as well. I think I bought her Loveless and... I don't know if I bought her any of those. I think it was Loveless. 
but I was like well you bought me the other ones I'm gonna have to buy you them too and they look so lovely together and yeah I've read all of the Heartstoppers that have been released so far and I love those so much I'm so excited for the Netflix adaptation but yeah I still haven't got around to these and I know I'm gonna absolutely love them when I read them they were ones that I said to myself I was gonna read straight away I did get Loveless on the day that it came out and <sighs> left her on the table and my dog when he was going through his very naughty phase decided to chew the coffee so I had to reorder another one <laughs> they are all the books that I was really excited to read and I still haven't got around to reading yet I'm calling myself out so that I can watch this video back and maybe at the end of the year and I can be like oh okay I read that one I read that one and I read that one let me know in the comments what books you were really excited to read and you were super hyped when they're coming out and you promised yourself you're going to read them straight away and then you just never did and they're still sitting on your shelf gathering dust if you've read any of these books as well let me know what you thought of them get me hyped about them I need to read these books <laughs> thank you very much for watching as always if you enjoy the content feel free to give it a like leave a comment below if you do want to join like my little bookish community feel free to subscribe but obviously no pressure <laughs> but yeah thank you so much for watching and taking the time out of your day to interact with this video see you in the next video bye